Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to change a fraction into a decimal. And we're going to do this without using a calculator. So we're going to do it using short division or it might be called the bus stop method. Okay, so let's convert three fifths into a decimal. So all you have to think of, this line in the middle of our fraction means divide. So it means three divided by five. So we're going to work this out using short division or the bus stop. So now we've got to write 3 as 3.0. We might need to add more zeros at the end later on. And the number we divided by is 5, so we put that at the start. So we just need to work this out now. So 3 divided by 5, well we can't do that, so that's naught remainder 3 and then do 30 divided by 5 that goes 6 times and then we just need to put our decimal point in the middle so our, our answer is 0 0.6 so let's have a look at example 2 then so this time we've got to convert 1 eighth into a decimal so again the line between the numerator and denominator means divide so we just need to do 1 divided by 8 so again, we're going to use short division to do this. So we can write the 1 as 1 1.0 and we're going to divide that by 8. So 1 divided by 8, again we can't do, so that's 0 remainder 1. Uh, 10 divided by 8, that goes 1 with a, with a remainder of 2. So we need to add another 0 here and put the 2 by the 0 to make 20. So 20 divided by 8 goes 2 times with a remainder of 4. So again we've got another remainder, so we need to put another 0 and put the 4. And then do 40 divided by 8, which is 5. Don't forget your decimal point. So 1 8 is the same as 0 0.125. Let me do one more example then. So example three. So let's do two thirds. So again, that line in the middle means divide. So we need to do two divided by three. So let's put 2.0 and put the three there. So two divided by three, again, we can't do. So it's naught remainder two. So we've got 20 divided by 3, so that goes 6 times with a remainder of 2. And then 3 is into 20, again it's 6, remainder 2. So this is just going to keep going on forever. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is just put my decimal point in here to make it a decimal. So it's 0 0.66 and it keeps repeating, this 6 does. So what you can do is just write it as 0 0.6 and put a dot on the top of the 6 to say that it's recurring. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.